make decisions on your own. No one would suffer but you. So do what the fuck you want to do. Now everybody's got elders. Okay, hello everybody. I gotta find my phone so I can turn it down, but it is my song. You can't let uh. put your hands on your life like you Every traveling down the same bumpy toe up road. Now close friends and relatives, they shouldn't be constantly by his side. And understand you got to let your conscience be with God. The time to come to time for this. Okay, so today, as y'all can tell by the title, I want to talk about DNA and the fact that we're not concerned about it. We don't care about it. Um, we seem to not be concerned with our, with our genetic annihilation, which is what's happening to us because of our ignorance. So, you know, I honestly feel like this is something that I need to bring to the forefront. So, with that being said, let's get into it. Number one, I told y'all, I put on my Facebook a long time ago for those people who like went to school with me who was whatever is on this channel now. I told y'all, do not be sending y'all DNA. I don't send my genetic material no motherfucking well. I don't leave it in no hospital. I don't leave it nowhere. I took my afterbirth when I had my daughter. And I don't leave shit nowhere. I took the bloody shit. Bitch, I didn't let them take nothing. I told them, I, I'm not talking about it. I said, get all that shit. Put that shit in that bed. Run that shit to that car. We're going to throw it in our trash. Make sure it's disposed of. It's going to be in a landfill somewhere. So, um, anywho, I said, stop sending your genetic material out to these fucking companies. Talking about, oh, where are we from? Bitch, we from here. Pick a land. It's ours. Pick a culture that you identify with organically, and, and that's you. That's what you are. You know what I mean? So what they stole out of history, go make another one. Give your family some traditions from this day forth. Okay. So anyway, so the reason why, oh, uh, ha, 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 I told you so, is because recently, um, what is it? Um, um, Glasgow's Klein, Glasgow Smith and Klein. There are a, a pharmaceutical company. They're a rival to like um, some of the top brands, or whatever. Anywho, I don't pay attention to drugs, don't take them. Anyway, they have recently bought into, I'm talking about when I say bought in, I mean bought in, um, what was it, to the tune of 300 or 600 million dollars for the next three years into 23andMe, the DNA, ancestral DNA company, that where you get to go and I see where you're from, genetic wise, man. Look, that's it, it's some malarkey. You wanna know how it's some bullshit? I'm gonna tell you how it's some bullshit. How are these motherfuckers coming um, genetically or DNA-wise, organic to or indigenous to Sierra Leone? Bitch, how your ancestors from Sierra Leone and white folk in America made that shit up after slavery because that's where they was gonna send niggas to. Because that was their first idea, send us back to Africa, but goddamn, there's so many resources over here, we can't send them back there. Bring them back, hold on. It's named after a whole white man. Uh, what's his name? Monroe. What the fuck his name is? Stop that shit. Y'all cannot come back to Sierra Leone. You can't. So that right there says it's some bullshit. Number two, why it's some bullshit? You don't study genetics. You don't know how that shit work. And you trusting these people, the same people who's putting shit in your food, put shit in your water, want you to die the fuck out, trying to breed you out through uh, interracial mixing and, and stuff like that. And you going to send your genetic material to them and let them tell you where the fuck you from? Bitch, pick a culture. They can't tell you where you're from. You indigenous to here. This is your land. Because when the dust settles, and you start claiming, oh, I'm this, I'm that, I'm this, I'm that. When they start, when you start uh, to uh, tally up and get what you get here, what's yours here? Oh, you know, I just gave away your birthright. I'm all about that birthright. I'm all about that birthright, birthright. I tried to say it on beat, but I couldn't. Like, my rhythm's still the way. I'm still trying, whatever. It's cool. I can't dance either. But, you know. So, I would, I would kind of say, watch them. Because they're watching you. They're studying your DNA. They're studying you. They want to know how to kill you, how to make you weaker. They've already figured out how to make our DNA less recessive. You don't believe me? Okay. Let's bring up this bronze beauty here. This old chocolate thundercat goddamn goddess. Let's bring up Grace Jones. This is Grace Jones's son and daughter. You see that? You see it? The beautiful Grace Jones. Now he's first generation white, uh, Italian, Spanish, European. And she's first generation European. Check that out. Our DNA isn't as recessive as we think it is. We gave birth to a nation 
We don't have to do all this selective breeding to have bright skinned children. If you if it's enough your kids to be bright or red, they're gonna be bright or red. It could be two people that's my shade and have a bright skinned child. It's cool. Let let us populate the earth naturally. Let's stop all this see because what they want to do as long as mixed people have babies with mixed people and then those mixed people have babies with mixed people, they're hoping to originally get rid of us. Yes, every now and then there'll be that one anomaly where two light skinned people have that one dark skinned child, but it'll be just that. It'll be that anomaly. Come on, this is genetic warfare here. This is annihilation. Is anybody familiar with the work of Dr. Francis Quest Wilson? Come on, y'all. We have got to be up on game more than what we are. We can't keep letting them play us. You know, we, we have to want to know better and do better. You know, I'm not with that um that interracial date. My daughter already knows if they can't use my comb, you can't bring them home. Period. Point blank. We already know what's going on on our end. They, they, now they have access to over 300 million people DNA to do testing and stuff with black people now. Because remember, this is the majority of the people that's participating. There was a whole slew of propaganda to get you to do it. All the stars were doing it. Oprah did it. Come on. They have your shit on fire. We have to stop being genetically ignorant. We have to understand that there is power in our blood. That's why they give us these immunizations so we can build up the antibodies and then they start killing us, kidnapping us, and siphoning off our good organs and siphoning off our DNA and our genetic material to make medicines with. We getting Henrietta lax by the generation, by the decade. Come on, we have to care. We have to be more aware. We can't let them get us, y'all. We can't. So we'll talk about more about this later. Like, subscribe, you know, share, of course. And, you know, what do you think? What I, I've been said, I don't leave my DNA nowhere. I don't voluntarily give nobody my DNA. These pharmaceutical, these pharmaceutical companies are now buying into these um, Ancestral.com uh, 23andMe companies. Now, they, now, you've already waived your rights to your DNA when you gave it to them. Read the fine print. Who's to know? You probably waive the rights to the host of the DNA. Stop it, y'all. We have to care about our... As, but us as black people, we got to care about our genetics, our DNA. Yeah, everybody should. Stop giving this supremacy system the, the people that they need to thrive off of. Let's stop giving it to the capitalistic environment. Let's just stop doing that. Okay? Keep your DNA to your family. Okay, we're the only culture that believes in intermixing and, and dating. We go into court to marry outside our race and to get the right to do so. We have to stop that. There's a beauty in blackdom, which is why everybody wants a piece of the pie. Stop it. Stop encouraging your children to love whoever the fuck they want to love. Y'all not the homies. Y'all not the friends. Y'all are the parents. You're going to love who the fuck I tell you to love. I'm going to help you pick your type. I'm going to help groom you so that you're ready for this world and you're going to be a wonderful king or queen to another person who's raised just like you. If they can't use the comb, don't bring them home. And keep the DNA in your body and in your family. Okay? Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, share. How do you feel? You know? And it's, it's nothing personal. It's, it's, it's nothing personal. Sorry, we just can't afford to lose. This is, even though we don't think we in a war, it's definitely war tactics being waged against us. And we have to look at that shit. Look at the food. Look at the water. Now, all of a sudden, if we are melting pot, but the only people who is melting is black. Asia's not in the melting pot. They don't encourage their people to go marry outside their race, their children to do so. Love who you want to love. Hell no. Be gay if you want to be. They don't encourage that type of behavior. No. They don't do it. We're the only race that does that. Okay, and that is a reason. There is a reason for that. I love every culture. I love participating in different cultures. I love things about European culture. You know, I love uh, American food. I love, like, you know, hot dogs and, you know, when I when I ate meat. I used to love that stuff. But, you know, look, we got to stop. We gotta, I love different cultures, but I don't want to intermix with y'all. I love Indian culture. I love Indian food. You know what I mean? I love Mongolian food, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not mixing with y'all. I love Asian food. I tell some shoot shit up. I love some Japanese food. But I, I, my baby can't go bring home no Japanese boy. Just because I like some stuff from a fucking tuna roll. Look, we got to stop. We have to be more aware, okay? Peace.
Like, subscribe, and share. I'm Nikki, and let's chat.